Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to episode 34 of Rustic Waters 2. And in yesterday's episode, we uh, made, we got all the ingredients for the Woot Farm. And I have put the, um, the, was it the factory control? No, not factory controller. There's a factory thing. I've put that on top and I've also made the square here um the same it's it will fit in the highest tier because to work out the highest tier you need to right click no shift right click nope right click the layout guide there's a way of doing or maybe i'm oh i think i'm too far that's the problem all right let's do this again I was prepared, I promise. <laughs> I was. Um, right, let's get some blocks, let's get some dirt. Okay, let's do it this way. Right, that could work. Okay, there's the layout guide. I think you shift. Did it just build it? Not showing anything. Why aren't you showing anything? See, I did this yesterday. The turn on this layout guide. After I finished recording, I went and put it up here. And there you go. You right click and it will show you the next level and it will show you like how big it's going to be. So that's level two, level three, level four, and level five. And you can just about see the guidelines. Level five will come up above the hole that I've cut out and it will fit within that hole right also what i did i went and um programmed i built i made another mob shard and i programmed that for sheep another no yeah i made a mob shard program it for sheep and what you basically do is that you make an unprogrammed mob shard and you click on the mob that you want to kill so sheep or enderman or whatever and then it will tell you, you have to have it on your hotbar and it will tell you how many of those entities you need to kill in order to have it fully programmed. So I had to kill five sheep because that's tier one. And now I have the prism, um, some stygian plates and uh, the mob shard to turn it into the mob controller. And that's what, mo that's what drops we're going to get, All right? So let's go down to the Stygian Anvil. And also in this pack, I think it's disabled that the Stygian Anvil doesn't have to be on a magma, magma block. But if you were playing it in a like a normal vanilla pack or vanilla in quote marks, then um, you would have to put it on a magma block in order for it to work. So, um, right, so in order to make the programming, um, the mob, mob controller. Yeah, because I don't have, I yeah, don't have the mob controller. In order to do that, I need the in, no, the intern. No, I need the yar hammer, which is in my 4K cell. Oh, I keep forgetting if you type anything, it will have that. I go into it and I think I've lost everything. Where is it gone? <laughs> right. So you need the base first, which I think is the mob. Yeah, it's the it's the mob thing, because if you. Really? Right. If I try and put anything else on it, it will tell you put valid base item first. So the base item is the mob shard. Then I need to put the Stygian plate and the prism 
and then hit it with the R hammer and then I get a mob controller for sheep. So right click for required tier information. Okay, all right. So it tells me that the mob is sheep and the required tier is Zelator, which is the first tier, which is what we have. All right. So I now have everything in my inventory. Um, let's go up. And I think if I hit it with the yar hammer, right click. Oh, I'll probably have to be a little bit closer. Uh, no, I have dirt here. Okay. No. Oh, God. I thought that's what you were supposed to do. Where is mob controller sheep? Uh, where's the layout guide? There's a layout guide. All right, does it put it there? Yeah, the oh, it's the intern, not the R hammer. I'm I'm an idiot. Right, so you right click the intern? No. No. Okay, validate a factory. All right, let me read and come back. That's what I should have done first. Okay, you need to keep right clicking with the heart. Okay, no valid primary controller. Mob controller. Oh, do I not have? Yeah. Do I not have a primary controller? I thought I did. Work slot primary base. What's a primary controller? No valid. Because I've got a primary base. Is that not the same thing? Twenty. Oh God, this done that to me again. Twenty, which is there. Twenty. So that's there. All right. Well, that is. Hmm. All right. Let's have a look. Fluid vat. Um, heart, fire, factory connection, green up controller, perk slot, liquid, uh, enchant liquefier, mob controller, mob shard. Is that the same as the mob controller? The mob controller is that, and that goes... That goes under that. All right, let's have a look at the Woot stuff because I'm not 100% sure. Hold on, that's primary base. No, it's got a plus on it. All right. All right, it has a plus. That. Perk slot. There's a mob controller. Battery connector. Primary base, secondary base. I don't know. 
expected. All right, do I have to put it in myself then? It's just, okay. So it's it's got the art is there. It's missing the thing with the plus. It's got the um, battery connector. So those I think are the Amrith tiles. Amrith block. It's not letting me click on it anyway. Because that's the factory connector. Yeah, because if I look off it, if I look. All right, if I take out the. Because I don't understand why it's not showing up. All right, if I take out the layout guide. All right, so it's pretty much what's between there. So you got the heart. All right, let's have a look at the layout guide again. I don't think, do, no, we don't need the enchant liquefier. We want that uh, layout guide. Okay, we got the heart. You need the one with the plus. Because that's the same. That's the perk slot. Then we've got an amaranth block. Under the perk slot, you've got two amaranth blocks. And those are fine. So in front, that's the perk slot. No, that is the minus and the circle. The minus is the primary base. And the circle is the mob controller. So the circle goes on top. And then the minus goes underneath. And then you have all of that. And then the canatus fluid at the bottom. Right, Canatus Fluid. Did we end up with two perk slots? Yeah, perk slot up there. So then... I wish this wasn't so hard. All right, so then in the perk slot you need, we have the Scale the Summits perk. Oh, right. So that should now, right, that's now making, it's working, but it's not going to produce anything because we need to make Canatus fluid, right? So that, I have everything set up to do that. So to make Canatus fluid, you need to have a fluid vat with water and um, something in it to make purge fluid. So purge fluid, I think I can use, I get more from ender pearls than I do from rotten flesh. So I had, end, oh, you know, something I've noticed, something I've noticed is that the all right the string it says here i've got 570 right 
if I look via the AE system, uh, string, it says I have double that. I don't know why. If I take them all out and put them in my inventory and go and look over over here, it will tell me zero. If I put it back in, it will give me double. The same thing was happening with the ender pearls because I have 200. I have I had 200 and something and it was giving me double that number. So I was quite shocked to see that I didn't. And we OK, that is quite quick. All right, so. I probably need to make another ender tank. All right, ender. OK, I can. The, one thing I didn't know, whatever color wool you put at the top will influence what colors the um, the bits are going to be, which I didn't know. So I was making orange. I I'd, I'd made some orange ones because I had orange wool and it was coming out orange, orange, orange. And I'm like, oh, that's brilliant. And then, yeah, <laughs> I realized it's the color of the wool. Do we have red wool? Yes, we do. So actually no purple because Canatus fluid is purple. So we need to make, oh, we have no more blaze rods. I think the blaze hearts, no, the blaze hearts, they give you, or two of those will give you four. Okay. And I really should make some blaze seeds. That's the next thing I need to do. All right. So we need ender tank. I'm still getting used to this new keyboard because it's um it's mechanical i can't get used to the the clacking all the time it's a bit weird i'm not used to it all right so purple okay i'm trying to be as um what's the word and are we do we need to turn this? Probably. I'm trying to be as organized as possible, but I always end up forgetting something. Uh, do I have a wrench? Um, what am I looking for? Oh, resource. Well, that was a waste of time, wasn't it? Uh, do I have? No, I don't have one of those either. Oh, this is not my day at all. There you go. So that is. Yeah, that should be correct. Um, I need the mechanical pipe. That's going over to here and now recipes. Uh, magma, no. Oh, magma gives you just over a bucket. Redstone gives you a bucket. How many magma blocks do I have? Okay, we have some. Take out a stack. And that's fine. No? Okay, did I read that wrong? Go recipes. Magma block. Or does it just take a long time? Redstone. Or do I only have to put it in one at a time? Or it could be that's nerfed. It could be it's nerfed. Okay. Um, all right.
right, redstone. Yeah, where are we? Okay. That's filling up there. And then we need, I think it takes it from the bottom. Uh, where's the other under tank? There it is. I'm going blind. And that is... That's input, that's output. And then we need a chest next to the... That bit at the bottom, the loot exporter. Where am I going? I have a chest. Okay, take the copper chest. Nope. There you go. It's working. It's going slowly, but it's working. Got something. Now, is there any way? Oh, okay. Why have you not got... Okay, because I had it the wrong side. All right, well, that makes sense. All right, so if I come and have a look over here. All right, so that should keep it. All right, so that's working. We have a working boot factory. We're getting wool. We're not getting much else. I thought we would have gotten mutton from this. But I guess the only thing we can do is leave it. That's the only thing we can, yeah. That is the only thing we can do. Okay. So that's working. Let's get our, um, our, what you call it? Right, let's get our rewards. So for the prism and the plates, 20 coins. But I don't know why it didn't. Uh, oh, Wilden Defender. I don't know which. I mean, obviously, no. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why it didn't. It didn't build the the thing. Three fluid, eight Byzantium block. We can't do that yet because that's a drop from from or we can make it mythical clay blue ice the nether quartz okay well if it's if it's not going to be coming out i can always make it but that is that all we're getting just oh you know what there's something called the um d's oracle and that will tell you the drops that you get from it from um Various mobs. Oh dear head. Uh these oracle. We need bookshelves. We need books. How many bookshelves are we missing? That's three, six, nine. We need nine books. Alright, let's craft. Who doubled the amount? And start that. Bookshelf. That's in. So we want these Oracle. And we're missing machine case. These Oracle. Scrying the future. Right. Oh, so for sheep, you only get wool. You don't get anything else. Okay, ender dragon. Is 
That's what it's going to tell me? Sheep and Ender Dragon? What? So why is it not telling me anything else? That is bizarre. Because I've seen someone else make this, put it down, and it gave them the mob drops for some for other things. But for whatever reason, it's only sheep and ender dragon. Okay. But yeah, at least now we know what we're getting from the sheep. Oh, oh, we're getting essence as well. Excellent. Okay, so that's from the scale the summit put. So we just got to leave this running. So thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.